Thank you, thank you, Master Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, Master Jesus Christ. We give you glory, Master Jesus Christ. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Yahweh Elohim. Thank you, thank you, Yahweh Elohim. We give you glory, Yahweh Elohim. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Hallelujah. Praise ya. Hallelujah. I thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming to my YouTube channel today. I praise Yahweh, Elohim of my fathers. I praise Jesus Christ. I praise God for leading you to, my, to this, my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming. Today, I want to talk about deliverance from masturbation, as I have been making videos telling you about masturbation, how masturbation have destroyed me, how masturbation have separated me from God, how there is a demon of masturbation. So if you, if you haven't seen those videos, please go and check it out to watch those videos so that you know the background behind masturbation. This video is just to tell you how, I got, how I'm delivered from masturbation. I'm delivered... I used to masturbate. I used to be addicted of masturbation. I was, it was my addiction. Uh, for many years, I masturbated. It was my full-time job. Sometimes I masturbate two to three times a day or four times a day. Since 2008, I have been masturbating. I was full-time job. I never, never knew that is a sin. I've never heard that is a sin. I was a, as I was, I've been telling you that I, I was a new age. I used to practice new age visualization, meditation, yoga. I was a personal trainer for years. So I, I wasn't a Christian. Nobody have told me that it was a sin. And I didn't check. Well, it, it feels okay to me. It feels normal to me. My body was enjoying it. But I, did, I never knew that it was a sin. Anyway, once I become, why? Once, when I, I stopped masturbation, uh, but I was still masturbating. Uh, once, when I knew, once I became aware that masturbation uh, is a sin, uh, for me, my own problem was ignorant. I just wasn't, didn't know that it was a sin. My problem was ignorant and addiction. I was, was, when I became aware that masturbation is a sin, I, I was aware. But uh, I stopped. What I did was when I became aware that masturbation was a sin, how I became aware, our Father, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, and His, and his, and his angels, and Satan, and, and His angels, they visited me in 2015, physical visitation, even the witches and the wizard. I'm the woman persecuted in the Bible. That's what I presume. Because of God have told me that I'm the mother of the Son of Man. I'm the mother of Jesus Christ. And there is a woman that Satan, Satan, persecuted, Satan persecuted a woman. Into, uh, Satan, the devil, uh, the dragon persecuted a woman in Revelation chapter 12 verse, uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 13. This is only my presumption. Uh, and our Heavenly Father didn't give me any Bible verses that time. But I have been reading the Bible now and seeing what they, they told us in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, verse 13. Revelation chapter 12, verse and he said, And when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. And they have been told that at the time, the mother of Jesus Christ, and the only woman that brought forth the man child, the man child is Jesus Christ, is Mary. Mary is the mother of Jesus Christ. Who, that's whom, who I am today. Because our father, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, told me that I'm the mother of the Son of Man and the mother of Jesus Christ. So therefore, I'm Mary. I'm Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. That's what God told me. That's what our father, Yahweh Elohim, Jesus Christ, he came to tell me in 2015. But because of my sin, it was unto death. That's why the powers of darkness brought judgment of death to me. They were, as I have been telling you in my video, that they were going to use me as a ritual sacrifice. But I praise Yahweh, Elohim of my father, as I praise Jesus Christ, that he, he prevailed. Uh, I didn't die. He protected me. I didn't know that there is God. He made, he provided everything. I only saw, like I've been telling you, he provided a helper. He helped me, helped me to call him. I called him and then he, he protected me. Every time I called the name of Jesus Christ, they would, I didn't get any attack. I was getting attacked in my body. They, want, they wanted to come in and, and kill me at 12 midnight. If you haven't seen my video, please go and see it. I've said all these stories in my other videos. So I, I'm just here today to tell you that I praise God, I praise Yahweh, him of my father, for delivering me from, from schizophrenia. They, they diagnose me schizophrenia, schizophrenia, schizo, 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 sch
uh, 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 depression, depression that I was uh, afraid. I was so afraid. I, I was so fearful because of all the, all, all the attack I have gotten. And I was so worried as well. I was, I, I was got, I got into myself into serious depression because of everything I, I had them telling me, plus all my sin here. I have seen. Anyway, I thank God that I am not delivered from masturbation. Masturbation was my, my full-time job. It was like I'm a, I was addict, uh, addicted to it. Once I got the vibrator, that got me. Sometimes I was masturbating like three to four times a day. I masturbate, I masturbate. I was so addict, ad, addicted to this masturbation. That if you haven't seen that video, go and check it. That is a demon of masturbation. When you masturbate here, you are, you are having, when you masturbate, in, when you masturbate in the physical world, you are having sex with demon of masturbation. You are making an agreement, a covenant with that demons. You are believe that you are married to the demons of masturbation. That's why I haven't been, I haven't been baptized with the Holy Spirit because that's what God is showing me. My sin have have withhold him good things from me, and my sin uh, is the, the the sexual sins, which is masturbation. That's what He's showing me masturbation. So that's why I have been praying uh, over a year now, uh, nearly a year over a year now. I have been praying on and off. Uh, I do confess masturbation. I confess masturbation, but I haven't confessed it properly, and I haven't divorced the demon of masturbation. But today, yes, once I became aware that masturbation is a sin, I stopped the things I was doing that made me to masturbate, such as my thought and the imagination. I don't normally feel sexually aroused. For me to, for me to stimulate my body, I used to think sexual thought. I used to think sexual thought. So my own, why was my, for me to masturbate, for me to make my body, stimulate my body, make my body to feel sexually aroused, I, I used to think, I used to use my thought to think sexual thought, sexual imagination. Sometimes I, 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 I imagine other women and men, I imagine their, their, like their penis, I imagine their head, their body, I use their, my, I, 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 I see them in my vision, I, no, I just imagine them in my head. And then using their image to to masturbate. So once I knew that uh, masturbation is a sin, I just um, uh, what made me to know is because God visited me, and the, when I got home from the hospital, I was just I was convicted. I just knew that masturbation is a sin. I stopped it, but I didn't know the the knowledge behind it. I don't know anything about masturbation before. Everything I'm telling you now, I've been researching, uh, and the, my 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 dreams as well. Plus, uh, the other brothers and sisters in the internet teaching me, which I will call their name, they have helped me because I do read uh, all their articles in the internet. So I have been researching and praying. So anyway, what I, what, 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 once I knew that masturbation is a sin, I stopped doing, uh, my, I stopped doing some of the things that I was doing that was making me to masturbate. Uh, one of the, the first one that was making me to masturbate, I used so much is my thought, my thought and my imagination. My mind, my thought. Uh, I don't normally feel sexually aroused. For me to stimulate my body, I used to think sexual thought. I'm using my mind to imagine men and women I fancied. I would visualize their penis, head, hand, but I'm using them to masturbate. I would be saying things in my mind. So once I knew masturbation is a, uh, masturbation is a sin, I stopped thinking in that way. Um, then when God, when our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Elohim, Jesus Christ, visited me in 2015, Jesus Christ saved me in the hospital. He saved me physically in the hospital. It wasn't, he came in the hospital and saved me. And he told me, when he was asking me a question, I started to think. He catched me immediately. He told me, Rosemary, do not think. Think about, think about your body. And then he knew that I was thinking. So just to tell you that everything, when you are masturbating, everything you are thinking, every, even if you are lying underneath your sheet, underneath your, your, your pillow, underneath your bed sheet, underneath your quit cover, uh, there, and you are on your own in your room, uh, the, spirit, the spiritual world, uh, see it. There is no, no, no secret. Everything is open. The spiritual world see that you are masturbating. They know that you are lying down. They know the position you are masturbating. They know what you are thinking in your head. They know what you are seeing, the visions you are seeing. They know it. That's what they show me now in the dream. In the dream, some of the things I used to think while I was masturbating in my room, uh, and there was no one there. I was in the under my sometimes I'm just on my own in my room. There is no one. Well, everything I was thinking in my head, everything I was saying with my mouth, everything I was feeling. God knows it. Even Satan knows it because they give me dream now and showing me everything I was doing. 
So what I did once I knew, but I didn't know that they knew before. I didn't know that they knew. I didn't know that God knows everything. Uh, the only time I started to, to, to think that God knows everything is when he told me in the hospital, Rosemary, do not think. Think about your body. That's what made me to start to think that God knows everything because my thought, I was only trying to, I was thinking, I was starting to think and he catch me immediately. And so therefore, whatever you are thinking, if you are using your thought, because masturbation is all about, yeah, you have to use your thought, your vision, like you are losing after people, you are fantasizing after them, you are, you are converting other people, you are in the, you are in the comfortable of your own home, or you are somewhere private, nobody seeing you on your own or with your partner or with other people, everybody is masturbating. God knows everything, he sees everything. Anyway, I stopped thinking in the in that in the way I used to think that time. Stop imagining all those things I used to imagine. Well, the, then Jesus Christ told me, Rosemary, do not think. Think about your body. Then I I, I just started practice how not to think. I, I I just I started practicing how not to think. I didn't want to be thinking anymore because Jesus Christ told me in the hospital, Rosemary, do not think. Think about your body. Uh, our thought is our thought is a sin. Thinking is a sin, and uh, most of our thought is a sin. My thought was evil thought, sexual thought, sexual fantasies. See, using my mind, imagine sexual vain imagination. All those things is a sin. So repent if you are doing this one in the name of Jesus Christ. So when I became aware that I am th I am thinking, and uh, now I say to myself, I say a quick prayer. When, now I try to be silent. Now. I just go to my, in my prayer. Most of the time I say if I, I pray about everything, uh, whatever that is concerning, whatever I'm worried about, I just say it in my prayer. Sometimes when I pray, 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 I pray long prayer sometimes, I tell Jesus Christ everything. So once I, I have said everything in my prayer, most of the time I'm not thinking. I notice that I'm not thinking now because I say all my worries, all my fears, all everything about me. I tell, I tell it, I, I say, I tell it to Jesus Christ in the prayer. I tell it to our Father Yahweh in my prayer. So I say everything. So most of the time I, I'm not thinking, but sometimes thought they come. So my thought, thought to do creeping. So but I'm aware. I know when I'm thinking. So once I know that I'm thinking, when I became aware that I am thinking, now I say quick prayer. Sometimes I say I bring this thought captive to the obedience of Christ. This one, one of the sisters, when I was doing evangelism, I told her that I was thinking. She told me this. That since then, I know. I now remember this prayer. Every time I'm thinking, I said, I bring this thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Even every time I'm imagining, so I have imagined women's penis before. Using it even sometimes when I'm praying, I, I started to I, I see if I'm going to imagine something. Then I bring, I, sometimes I say, and when I'm on my own, I say, I bring this thing captive, the thought. I bring this thought captive to the obedience of Christ. So if you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, it says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So you bring every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. So that's the second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. So that's what I do now. Once I, oh, that's what I do right now. And uh, I don't think, uh, I don't use my mind in that way. M masturbation is mainly thought. You're using your thought to try to think yourself into having orgasm. You use your thought, you use your vision, you fant you're fantasizing. All those things is a sin. It's, it is a sin. All those say short thought. And uh, when I, once, uh, once I stop thinking in that way, you need to confess your say short thought. All everything you were doing. That's what I have been doing now. Everything. Everything. All those say short thoughts, vain imagination, and using the image of men and women to masturbate is a sin. To think it's a sin to think in that way. So I have gotten to know that it's a sin to think in that way. And uh, it's impure thought, unclean thought. It's a sin of covetousness, sin of sexual fantasies, sin of lusting after men and women that are not yours. And once, once you're masturbating here, you are calling demons of masturbation. They're having sex with you. And you're calling that demon. You're calling masturbation. You're calling masturbation, masturbation. That's what I'm calling the dream now. God has given me dreams where I'm there, feeling hypersexually aroused. I'm, uh, sometimes I'm calling sex. Sex, I want sex. I want to have sex. I want to have sex in the dream. So this is what I used to do here. Whatever you're doing here, there is a spirit behind it. So everything. So that's what we need to do. It's a sin to think in the, in this way. The way I was thinking is a sin to is a sin to think in that way. What I, what you need to do, you need to confess. I, I did once I stopped thinking in that way, and now and now confessing. You need to confess to our heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to confess every sexual thought you have thought. 
confess every sexual um, imagination you have imagined, all the sexual fantasies you have fantasized, you twist your, all the sexual vent, all the sexual lusting after people you have lusted, all the sexual covetousness you have coveted. You, know, in, you need to confess it one by one in details. That's what I do now. In details, you confess your sexual sins, the, the, what you have done in your, with your mind in details. And then you, you need to renounce it. You need to pray. When you confess it, you pray that, Father, I reject you. Forgive me for covetousness. Forgive me for my sexual fantasies, all my sexual thought. You tell him what you were thinking. When you, uh, any other, any, anybody, if you were fancying you have anybody here, any woman, you are fancying them, you tell them, I used to fancy this woman and I used to use them to masturbate. That's the way I take, that's the way I, I confess right now. I'm confessing my sins in details. Try to confess it them one by one. Even another sister, sister, uh, sister Mosa from the Narrow Gate Channel, have told us as well that um, God have made her to go and confess to her husband her sexual sins. What she did even before she made the husband, she she need to go and confess. So we need to confess our sin. Even the Bible told us to confess sin one by one, one to another. We need to confess sin one to another. And that made me to know that, yes, we need to confess our sin as well. So you need to ad admit that emancipation is a sin. It's a sin. It's a sexual impurity, sexual immorality. Like I told you yesterday about emancipation. It's deadly. It's a sin. And they are, they, are, they, are, they are stealing. They are losing many things. They are losing their fortune. They are losing their glory, their virtues. It's a sin. So we need to you need to go admit that you are, you are masturbate. You need to admit that you are masturbate and confess that what I'm what I'm doing now is confession. So you need to admit that you are masturbate and confess to the father as well, in details. <coughs> now since I, I don't use my mind in that way, I do not use my mind in that way. I do not think those sexual thought again. What's thought coming into my mind? I just bring it captive to the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. So now I don't I don't get. Now I get I get dreams. Now that I don't think in that way anymore, but I, I still get dreams where I see myself uh, saying some of the things I used to say in my mind when I, when I was masturbating. Now I do not think in that way. I don't lust after people anymore. I don't uh, because I have prayed about uh, lusting after people, fantasizing after people. So I don't see anybody to lust after them now. Sometimes I still see like uh, some black men. Uh, I see that my body is doing something. Then I just flee. So I don't give anybody any my, my mind or my body uh, any reason any anywhere to lust after people. So, but the only thing is, since I stop lusting after people in that way, using my mind in that way, thinking in that way, fantasizing people in that way, lusting after their penis, using it to masturbate, lusting after their their body, their head or their arms, using it to masturbate. I stop physically here, but I see myself in the dream, using uh, thinking in that way, lusting after people in that way, lusting after people. I see people I lost after them. I want to have sex with them in the dream. Sometimes I see some persons, men, I want to have sex with them in the dream. Sometimes I'm calling, I'm calling for masturbation. I want to masturbate. I want to masturbate. I'm thinking masturbation in my head. Sometimes I'm feeling hyper, hyper sexually aroused. And I want to go somewhere to masturbate. Even though that I don't masturbate here, they are showing me everything I used to think here on my own private time. When I was on my own in my room, on my own. Sometimes I'm underneath my quiet cover. Nobody sees me, but God sees everything. God hears his spirit. God sees your mind. God knows you, what you're thinking, what you're hearing, what you're seeing, what you're focusing your attention, what you're feeling in the body. Everything, there is a spirit behind every single thing. All the, see, all the spirits, all the spiritual world hears our thought. Spirit, all the spiritual world, they know our imagination, our, our, our heavenly father Yahweh and his son Jesus Christ definitely knows all your sinful thought, all your imagination, all your sexual fantasies lost. They, they know everything you are doing with your mind and they know everything you are saying with your mouth and everything you are putting in your hands and they know how your body is feeling. They know everything. If you are using vibrator, they know everything. They know that vibrator. They know even the maker, where it is made. They know everything. If you are using your hand, putting in your private part, they know. They know how you are feeling. Even there is a spirit behind it. You are calling that spirit. You are making marriage to that spirit, that demon behind it. So whatever we are doing here, there is a spirit behind it. So the only thing you need to do is to cleanse out your mind. That's what I did, is to confess all these things you have done in your mind. Everything, confess it aloud to Jesus Christ. I, I pray, I hope, I pray aloud. 
I pray aloud, uh, aloud. Sometimes I pray. You need to confess. Spirit, you need to hear that you confess. You reject them. You confess these things. Confess all the evil thoughts you have thought. Say sure thought. Say sure feeling you have feel, felt. Say sure imagination. Even you call the names of the people you were using their image to masturbate. For me, I call the name of the people. I tell, I told the, uh, how it started, when it started, how uh, the person, what he told me, what, what made me. You need to confess every single thing. And then you renounce them. You renounce sexual fantasies, sexual loss, sexual covetousness. You renounce them all in the name of Jesus Christ. And renounce sexual thought, sexual thought. Even renounce masturbation in the name of Jesus Christ. So as I become aware of this, I didn't know this before when I was masturbating. I never knew. I was just using my mind. I don't know what I was doing. I was just going by the flow. I never know what I was doing, but now, um, uh, now I have been having sexual dream, masturbation dreams, masturbation dreams, masturbation dreams, sexual dreams, sexual feelings for over a year now, and that's what made me to. I have been praying for. I have been praying for repent. To, I have been confessing masturbation for over a year now. I've been confessing masturbation. Still, I still have sex in the dream. I still masturbate in the dream. I still feel, feel sexually aroused in the dream. Even though I have confessed masturbation, perhaps I haven't confessed it in the way I supposed to be. I just say, forgive me for masturbation, and that's it. You need to confess in details. Say, that's what I have been doing now. Confess everything you did in your mind, everything, everybody you, you fancied, every human being you, you saw and fancied, every human being you, you were coveting, using their penis to have sex with on your own, in your own private time. Every woman, everything, you need to confess every single thing and renounce them. I renounce them in the name of Jesus Christ. So I completely stop as um, so as I became aware of this uh, of this I completely stop all these things and confess everything I did with my mind imagination loss fantasies and I pray I pray against this I pray against this this things I pray against sexual fantasies sexual loss sexual imagination I pray against them and I pray against masturbation in the name of Jesus Christ sometimes I say I rebook it I rebook loss I rebook fantasies, I rebook imagination, and then in the name of Jesus Christ, sometimes I say um, I cancel the covenant, the covenant, the, the satanic and demonic agreement I have made with loss, with fantasies, with with imagination, in the name of with sexual imagination, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. So that's what I, I do now, because I do, I have been having sexual dream, masturbation dream for more than a year now, even more than a year I have been having. So I have been researching and reading other, there is other, I will quote the names of the people that have been helping me through the internet, um, I have been learning. That's the only time I, I'm not praying about it, but I praise Yahweh, Elohim of my fathers. I praise Jesus Christ because I do not masturbate here anymore. I used to be addicted. I to have, I, masturbation was my addiction. I was so addicted to, to masturbation. I used to finish praying, finish praying, finish praying, praying. Sometimes I pray for hours. I still masturbate. I finish praying, I, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. And sometimes while I'm sleeping, I'm masturbating, 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 I'm masturbating. And then once I, I masturbate, I don't feel good anymore because I know that it's a sin. Then I when I masturbate, I don't feel good. Then I pray, I pray. I come up, I call Jesus Christ in the name. I, I, I worship God and then I, I just complain to Jesus Christ, telling him that I don't want to masturbate anymore. It's not my portion. I reject masturbation. I hate masturbation. I, can't, I bind and cast out masturbation. I reject it. Say, deliver me from masturbation. I don't want to masturbate anymore. I don't want to face sexually arise anymore. I don't. I hate it. I reject it. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. So that's the way you need to pray. If you want to be free, you need to tell God, tell God how you feel, that you hate it. Anything on earth here, whatever you don't want. Like I see people begging. If you, don't, if you want to stop begging, if you don't want to beg people for one pee, you need to tell, say, our Father in heaven, you reject begging. The same thing to masturbation. You need to always confess it all the time. Even if you are, whenever, if you don't want to masturbate anymore, you say, Father, I don't want to masturbate anymore. It's not your passion. You hate masturbation. You reject masturbation. You bind and cast out masturbation. Matthew 18, verse 18. Anything you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Anything you lose on earth shall be losing in heaven. So whatever you bind here, it will be bound in heaven. So that's what you need to do. So the second thing I did, I did, I did, I do not watch pornographic movies anymore. I used to watch pornographic movies. All those porno, pornographic movies, I used to watch it, watch it. So I do not watch it anymore. I do not watch television anymore. I have watched television before, and I don't have television now. I don't like I don't like all those movies, but I have watched television before. I used to watch all the talk show hosts, 
all the uh, dancing on ice, all those dancing entertainment. I used to watch them, but I don't have, to, I don't watch television. All those things that is says in, in television all the time, nakedness in television. So I do not watch television at all. And uh, I, I do not listen to secular music at all now. I have listened to them before, Beyonce, Rihanna, uh, Tina Turner, but I do not listen to them anymore. I don't have any secular music. I throw them, I don't have any secular music. I don't listen to them anymore. I even and some of the ad when I'm in YouTube listening to some 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 of the things like praying some of the ad come there I just delete it I just I just place a pause immediately so I don't I don't listen to secular music anymore all those things make people is the sexual is sexual the nakedness television is nakedness all the time. I throw away vibrator. I used to have vibrator. Maybe I have used uh, two to three vibrator. Some of them broke. I bought new ones. But I threw away my vibrator. I don't have vibrator anymore. I just threw it. I put it in the bin. When God visited me in 2015, I just knew that my special is a sin. I put it in the bin. And I don't have vibrator anymore. I don't have any sexual book. Sexual book made me to my bed. When I was living in Gravesend, they have, uh, the room I was sharing, the room I was renting, there is a sexual book there. I got it. And then I was reading this book. I'm masturbating, I'm masturbating, 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 masturbating. One day I came back, the book is not there anymore. So I don't have any sexual book. All this is a sin. You need to burn it with fire. Or if you have sexual book, television, uh, pornographic movies, uh, and uh, secular music, uh, you burn it with fire. It's a sin. It's a sin, and they cause masturbation, they cause sexual sin, because they're always thinking about sex. They're always naked. I don't have any sexual book. I don't have any sexual books anymore. I don't have any sexual magazines. I don't read newspaper. I don't read all these magazines I used to read before. I used to read, like, psychology magazines. I don't read any magazines. I just read the Bible, pray, read all the, all the there are so many books to read. There is a book of Enoch. God have told us through Sister Musa to, re to read the book of Enoch. And I, loved, uh, I have so many books. I love the book of Jasha. I love the bo other book that is taken out of the Bible. I have uh, Apocrypha. I have Septuagint Bible, big Bible. There's so much to read. So uh, there is no time to, for me to read magazines. Even if there is time, I will not read the magazine. I will not go and open magaz those magazines anymore. It's, it, they are all sin. Everything they're showing here is sin. It's nakedness. These are sins. All these things I'm telling you now, these are sins which you need to burn with fire. Burn all these things with, with fire. Confess them one by one. Confess all these things. If you have watched pornographic movie, you need to confess to our Father how you watch it, what you watch, what woman do, what everything about it. You, uh, you confess it and you renounce it. And you say that you vow that you will not do it anymore. And you pray that to help you, Father, help me to not to do it anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing to addition of masturbation. You need to say, our Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, I do not want to be masturbated anymore. Help me. Give me power uh, to stop masturbation. Give me power to stop masturbation. Deliver me from the addiction of masturbation. You need to know that you, you are addicted. And you need to tell him, yes, I'm addicted of masturbation. Forgive me. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. But give me power to stop. I don't want to do it anymore. It's not your portion to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. The third things I, I did, number three, as I, as I stopped the above, as I stopped all these things, I was still masturbating. I was still masturbating. Some, some, sometimes, sometimes I pray and pray and pray. I still masturbate. I may be sleeping and start masturbation. And when I start, I don't stop until I have orgasm. But uh, each time I masturbate, I wake up and I pray against it. I will confess masturbation. For example, I may say, Our Father in heaven, Yahweh Elohim, in the name of Jesus Christ, forgive me from forgive me for masturbating. I reject it. I reject masturbation. I rebuke masturbation. I bind and cast out masturbation. It is not my portion to masturbate in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel all the covenant, demonic and satanic agreement I, my parents, and my ancestors have made with masturbation in the name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes I say I cancel the legal right because when you are masturbation, masturbating, you are giving the demon of masturbation legal right. You are making a covenant with him. With, with no yindi or no yindi. You are making a covenant with the demon of masturbation. You are giving him a legal right to come into your life to kill and to steal and to destroy. And he's the one making you to masturbate. That's why they program my body to masturbate in the dream. They program my spirit to, to pursue them in the dream now. Because I was I made a covenant with them. So you need to sincerely cancel the covenant you have made with them. May, your parents may have made a covenant with sexual with masturbation or with sexual immorality, which I believe that my, my parents and my, and my ancestors may have made covenant with mas with masturbation or uh, with masturbation or other sexual immorality. Because I see myself in the dream. Sometimes I, I'm I'm feeling sexually aroused. I want to have sex with my brother, with my brothers from my mother's side or my father's side. Or sometimes I want to have sex with the baby. And here in this earth, I have I, I, I lived with my brothers. I grew up with my my cousins. 
I have never wanted to have sex with them. But in the dream, I want to have sex with them. That is making me to think that maybe my ancestors, my parents and my ancestors have made covenant with the demon of incest. Incest is when you have sex with your relatives. And God told us in the book of Le Le Leviticus chapter 18, to not have sex with your, um, with your brothers and sisters from your mother's side or, or your father's side, even if they are born abroad or at home. Even if you know them or not, you shall not have sex with them. It's already in the Bible. So you need to read all these Bible verses. That's what I do as well. What I did, what I do as well, I research now. I read about this thing because I want to be free. So I, I, well, there is a brothers I listen to in the Google, in the internet. Somebody like Evangelist Evangel Joshua Oreke. He's a Nigerian man. And he, he's very, very knowledgeable in dream, sexual dream. There is another brother, other brothers, the other brother that I was call his name as well. So they have prayer point. They have prayer point. I don't know how to pray. And this brother have helped me. I don't know him personally. I only uh, was searching. The first time I, I, I had sex in the dream, I had to. I was uh, curious to search to know why I was having sex in the dream. I was let, listening to people. They were talking. Uh, they told me that our evangelist Joshua did say that if you have if you have had sex in the dream, that means that you have a, a split spouse. That's why I was. Uh, then I, I started to uh, pray his prayers to deliver me from spirit husband and spirit wife. And spirit husband and spirit wife, I've had another channel, another website as well, another article, saying that spirit husbands and spirit wives do make you to make us to masturbate. So you need to divorce spirit husbands as well and spirit wives, which I have done uh, just in case. You need to pray different prayer points uh, to divorce spirit husbands and spirit wife, uh, uh, even to cancel the covenant that you, your parents and your ancestors have made with spirit husbands and spirit, uh, spirit wives, spiritual marriages. So there is a, you may have married spiritually without knowing me. I now know that I may have married spiritually without knowing. So you need to cancel all of this thing. Each time I masturbate, each time, each time I masturbate, sometimes because of I have been, um, I'm not delivered here in the physical world. I don't masturbate here physically. I haven't masturbated for many months now. And I praise Yahweh, Elohim of my fathers. I praise Jesus Christ that I do not masturbate here physically. But I stay masturbating in the dream which are now praying to help me, uh, now praying and confessing the, 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 sex, the, the sexual dreams, the dreams where I, I saw myself masturbating. So uh, sometimes I wrote my dreams down, and then I confess them one by one, what I remember, as much as I remember. I confess them, then you are cancel, I cancel those dreams. Anyway, even, even though I stop masturbating here in the physical world, I still masturbate in the dream. Before, before when I have before when I have a sexual dream like a dream where I am masturbating, feeling sexually aroused or have sex in the dream, I usually wake up and cancel the dream in the name of Jesus Christ. I usually wake up, pray, praying and cancel the dream in the name of Jesus Christ. But what I haven't, what I, what I wasn't doing was knowing that it, that it is a sin to have sex in the dream. It's a sin to masturbate in the dream. It's a sin to have sex in the dream. Uh, before initially, I didn't know, but I, I but, uh, there is so many testimony coming up here that made me to know that it is a sin to have sex in the dream. Uh, even if if you are doing it in the dream or doing it in the physical world, it's a sin. If you have sex in the dream, it's a sin. And you're having sex with demons. If you have it there in the physical world, if it, if you have uh, masturbation here, you're having sex with demons. That's why I'm I'm having sex in the dream now because for many many years I was doing masturbation here. I was masturbating physically. I was trying to feel sexually aroused. I was watching pornographic movies. Now I don't masturbate here anymore. And now they are giving me sexual dream. But before, before when I was masturbating here, I have never, never had a sexual dream. I only started to have sexual dream when I'm already saved. Jesus Christ came here and saved me physically in the hospital. And then I got, I was attacked so much. I was depressed and bound with medication. And then when I started to pray in December 2019, that's when I started to have sex in the dream. Um, I, was, uh, I, was, I was 40 something that time. I was 43 that time. All my life, I have never, never had sex in the dream. I didn't dream that much dream all my life. I have never had masturbation in the dream. I have never felt sexually aroused, never. If I was feeling sexually aroused in the dream all my life, I would have tried to find out why I'm feeling sexually aroused, why I'm having sex in the dream, but I didn't. They hid it from you. They don't, they, the demons of masturbation, when you are masturbating, they will not give you a dream now. They will leave it until you want to stop. Once you stop here, they want to reset the covenant. So that's, they wanted to, they will want to reset the covenant. That's why they summoned you in the dream, making you to masturbate, make, having sex with you, with me, and making you to feel sexually aroused. Because every time you do that, you reinstate the covenant.
That's what I, I this is just, just that's what I believe now because of what is going on in my own dream. Anyway, now, now what I have gotten to know now is masturbation, masturbation is a sin. Masturbation is a sin. If you are doing it in the dream or you are doing it in the physical world, it's a sin. Um, having sex, having uh, um, ungodly sex, like fornication or feeling sexually aroused, uh, it's a sin. If you are feeling it in the dream or feeling it here, it's a sin. Or any sexual, any sexual sin. And whatever you are, if you are doing it in the dream, or having sex in the dream, or having it here, it's a sin. It's a sin to have sex in the dream. It's a sin, even if it's your husband, even if it's your husband you're having sex with, or your boyfriend, or your wife, you're having it in the dream. It's a sin. There is no way. There is nowhere in the Bible that God told us that yes, we we'll have sex in the dream. We're supposed to have sex. You're supposed to have sex. Sex with your own husband or wife. The one you married paid their their bride price. You you, you marry a husband. Or if you're a, a, a if you're a woman, you marry a hus your husband. You have sex with your husband. Men have sex with their wife. You married, pay for their bride price. You have sex here in the physical world, in the comfortable of your own home, private in your own home. That's what God. That's what says we're supposed to do. Not in the dream. So anybody having sex in the dream is a sin. So it's a sin. You need, to, you need to confess it is a sin, and there is a demon that giving you that sex, even if they are coming in the form of your husband, or in the form of your your, your wife, or in, the, or in the form of your wife, your girlfriend. And the, as long as it's in the dream, it's a sin. It's a sin, and there is a demon making you to do it. They are, they're using the image of the people you know here, the physical, maybe your wife, you know, your wife here, so that you will not know. They, will, they want to deceive us. To continue to have sex with them, thinking that you're having sex with your partner here in the physical world. Anyway, com confess all. And uh, what I do, what I do now, what I do now is uh, like I have been delivered. I don't have, I don't, don't, I don't have masturbation here in the physical world. And I praise Yahweh, the Him of my fathers. I praise Jesus Christ. I glorify God. I thank you, Father, uh, because I know that um, I know where I stand, where marriage is concerned, where sex is concerned. I have, I have married twice. My ex, my, my Russian ex-husband, as I have made a video telling you that God made me to know that uh, God made me to know that, that that marriage is not good in his eyesight. Jesus Christ made me to know. They didn't tell me, they asked me questions about him. And after when I came back from the hospital, I just knew that I need to run away from that Russian man. I need to divorce him. And I praise Yahweh him of my fathers. I praise Lord God. I have divorced the man. So I know, and the Bible said that once you divorce, you remain single. So I'm divorced, I remain single. And now, uh, now I know where I stand, where, where, where sex is concerned. I don't have sex in the physical world. I don't have sex with any, anybody here in the physical world because I know that I, I was married and I divorced the man. As long as the man is, uh, is alive, I remain single. And I praise Yahweh Elohim of my father. I praise God for me to know that. If I don't know now, I'll start hunting for uh, a husband because I was thinking that God wanted me to divorce the white man. I married an Igbo man. That's what I was hunting for, an Igbo man before, having adultery relationship, having sex with men, uh, people. Uh, we need to be careful. We need to know, uh, pray before we make any, any, any movement in anything because the, here, the word, whatever we are doing here is not good in the eyesight of God. Everything we are doing is not his way at all. I was, uh, when he visited me, he made me to know that my white Russian husband, my ex-husband is a white man from Russia. Uh, he's not good in his eyesight. But I, pre I just thought I was listening to people, all the African-American uh, teaching me. I thought that I needed to go and marry an Igbo man because God didn't want me to marry the white man. Maybe let me go and marry an Igbo man. I'm from Igbo in Nigeria. And then I was hunting for an Igbo man. And then they, I did, I was going to somewhere. I was going to the Glade, to the shopping center, sitting around and wanting to attract the attention of black men. And then I did get the number. And then one of them uh, called me. And then I went to his house. I didn't plan to have sex. And now I had sex. I wasn't planning to have sex. But anyway, that's how it is. Well, for me, for me, my problem, I'm ignorant. If I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing, now that I know that I, I was married before and I, I am, I'm divorced, then I remain single. I'm the first I'm saying that I'm not now I pray. I pray uh, so many prayers to make me not to not to lose after people. If I see that I'm lost now, I'm feeling sexually aroused. I say I pray that I, it's not my portion, I reject it. I bind and cast it that I don't want to feel sexually aroused. I pray in that way in the name of Jesus Christ. If I if I see that I'm fasting somebody, like I'm preaching outside, uh, a man is talking to me, I feel that I'm fasting this person. Sometimes I just feel, uh, uh, or, they are, or they are fasting me. Sometimes they are talking sexual thought. I, I rebook them, I told them it's a sin, repent. And then I just round out and flee. I left there and uh, I don't have anything to make me to feel sexually aroused here. Or to me. Even if I'm lost after something, I'll just pray against it. 
So confess all your sins, all your sexual dreams. Confess all your sexual dreams in de in details. As much as I, I remember, that's what I did. I confess all my sexual dreams right now. I'm confessing all my sexual dreams, all my sexual dreams in details as much as I, I remember. And I confess all sexual sins I have done in the physical world as much as I can remember. And then I divorce, then I, then I renounce this sin. I renounce it in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce it, all those sexual sins. And, and then I divorce what I'm doing now. I have been praying prayer to divorce the demon of masturbation. I pray certain uh, different prayer to divorce uh, spirit husband, spirit wives, spirit wives, spirit children. I have prayed prayer like that before. And then I, I'm praying now to divorce the demon of masturbation. So that I'm divorcing them. The, uh, last night, I was just praying and giving a demon of masturbation a bill of divorce. To divorce him, to tell him that you are a being. You must hear the word of Yahweh. To, to, uh, you. That's, what the, the, that's how we need to do to divorce this demon. Because this demon of masturbation is, is bad. It's a very it's a powerful demon. Only the, the power of Jesus Christ can drive this demon of masturbation out. Because I see the way they are giving me dream. I pray against masturbation. Pray, 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 pray. And then they give, still give me dream of where I'm masturbating, where I'm feeling sexually aroused. So the demon, the demon of masturbation is not, is, is a very powerful demon uh, that is in our life. When you are, when you are masturbating, you are breaking these demons is in your life. No yindi or no yindi. Once you must bet here, there is a demon that is in your life. It's not the Holy Spirit. And God will not come to your life when there is another demon. God is the spirit of purity. And the demon of masturbation is the spirit of impurity. And you are unclean. Masturbation is a demon. So what I'm doing now is to pray to the, I have been confessing my sexual dreams. And renouncing them, canceling them, and rejecting them. And destroying them in the name of Jesus Christ. And now I'm confessing. Now I'm divorcing. I'm, I'm, I have been divorcing the demon of masturbation now. I'm divorcing the demon of masturbation. Uh, masturbation is a demon. is a spirit. So we need to. Uh, it's only the power of Jesus Christ that can drive this masturbation, demon of masturbation out of our lives. So we need to uh, sincerely pray to, to divorce this demon. And I'm thinking to go into a fast. Fasting. Fasting. Get myself into a fast. Fasting. Maybe uh, three days fasting, as, like our father, Yahweh, him, Jesus Christ, have told us how to fast through another sister, Sister Musa, from the narrow gate channel. And she have motivated me. So I have started to do some fasting. So I promise our father that I will be fasting every week, but I have money to fast this week. Father, forgive me. I will, I will fast. I will, I'm going to fast. This demon is very wicked. I see the way my dream is. My dream is full of sex. This is not the first time I confess masturbation. It has been over one year now. Since I've been praying and confessing masturbation, I see masturbating the dream. I see feel sexually aroused in the dream. So that is a, it's a, that is a problem. That is a problem. That is a big problem. Uh, when you are when when masturbating the dream, that is a problem. So that's why we need to fast. We need to fast. Follow Sister Mosa in from the Narrow Gate channel to do what our father told us to fast and to um, pray to masturbate, to pray to divorce the demon of masturbation. Not to masturbate, to pray to divorce the demon of masturbation in the name of Jesus Christ. As I said, as I said yesterday, that when you masturbate, when you masturbate here on earth, you are having sex with, with the demon of masturbation. You are calling masturbation. That's what I'm doing now in the dream. I'm calling masturbation, masturbation, masturbation. I'm calling sex, sex. I'm pursuing sex. A demon is a demon. It's a person. It's a person. They are all persons. They are all persons. They are real. Very real. That like Jesus Christ is real. Jesus Christ is, is God. It's a spirit. Demon of masturbation is a person. It's a spirit. And in the dream, they came as a physical human being. They have a body. And I'm, I'm pursuing this person. I'm pursu I want to have sex. I want to have sex. Sometimes I'm pursuing a person. A person, a male, a male in front of me. And the male is not even uh, looking back. And the one pursuing the male. The, so therefore, whatever I'm doing here, I'm trying to have sex, have sex, have sex. I'm pursuing that. I'm calling that demon. I'm pursuing that demon. I wasn't pursuing Jesus Christ. Other, all the other brothers and sisters I see, you have been pursuing Jesus Christ. You were Christians. So I'm not a Christian. I wasn't pursuing Jesus Christ. I was just pursuing masturbation. Masturbation in the dream because I was masturbating here. That's why my life is um, my life has been and my life is shattered, shattered and I have lost everything. I don't have any husband, I don't have any children, I don't have any money, I don't have any job, I don't have any blessings, I don't have all my blessings has been taken from me. My gift, God you have told me that I'm the mother of the Son of Man and the mother of Jesus Christ. And so my son is not here. He have told me that I'm a healer. So I'm not healing. He told me to go and preach. 
He told me to pray. So I'm a prayer warrior as well. I'm evangelist. I'm many things. But I have been given. I'm favored among women. Mary is favored among women. And because of all the spiritual gifts, God, God have told me that I have. But I don't have any power. I don't have his power to do anything here. I'm a healer. I don't have the power to do to heal the sick and to raise the dead. So everything has been withholding from me. Why? Because of my sin and the, the most the sin he's showing me. I have confessed some of that all, that, all, all my sins. Uh, as much as I get to know, I confess the the wicked sin, the this sin, a grievous sin. This one is a, the sexual sins. It's very grievous because there is another 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 person, another spirit you are married to. You are not married to the Holy Spirit. You are not married to Yahweh. So now what I'm what I am doing is to confess all the dreams where I have masturbated or, or confess all sexual dreams as much as I can remember. Then I cancel the dream, I reject the dreams, I renounce the dreams, I rebook the dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. And now I, I, I am praying prayer to divorce the demon of masturbation. For example, I say in the name of Jesus Christ, I divorce demon of masturbation. I give him a bill of divorce. I give him everything. Uh, used for the marriage, including the dowry, wedding certificates, and wedding gown, and everything used for the marriage. Uh, I bind and cast out demon of masturbation, demon of sexual immorality and perversion in the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Anything you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Anything you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. So uh, that's the way I'm praying right now. And, it's on, and, and uh, I pray, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 5. Uh, the Bible told us that our maker is our husband. So the demon of masturbation is a person. And it's, uh, it's it become a belief that I, pers I personally believe that this demon of masturbation is now we are married to the demon of masturbation when you are masturbating. That's why, we, that's why you are divorcing him because you are married to him. And if you see the Bible, Isaiah 58 verse, Isaiah 54 verse 5. It told us that Isaiah 54 verse 5, for thy maker is thy husband. The, the Lord of hosts is his name and thy, thy redeemer the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. This, the Lord of hosts, is Yahweh of hosts. So our Mecca is our husband. Our God is our husband. Our God, is his name is Yahweh Elohim, Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Elohim, the Father, and Jesus Christ is the second person of God. So he is our husband. So what I say sometimes, if our God, if God is my husband, so all the other spirits you are married to, you divorce them all. That's what we need to do. We need to divorce because all these things we are doing here, there is a spirit behind it. If you are having sex here, there is a spirit behind it, a person, that is a spirit that is in your life. If you are masturbating here, there is a spirit behind it. It's a person that is a spirit that is in your life. Either you have Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, or you have this person, this demon. And this demon, you need to drive the demon out. Well, how, how are you going to drive the demon out? It's through the power of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one that will drive it out. Our father Yahweh his son, and his son Jesus Christ is the only one that will drive it out. That's why maybe well, when I used to pray that I, I, rebook, I, rebook, I just pray that I rebook masturbation, I rejected it before. I have never prayed to divorce a demon of masturbation and I have never uh, confessed my sin one by one uh, before. Like the, the sexual dreams, all the dreams, the sexual dreams. Anyway, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. He said, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. Know you not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So when you masturbate here, you're defiling your temple. You're making your temple dirty, unclean, impure. It's like a, one of the sister articles said that it's like an animal. The way we are thinking, the way you are feeling, the way what you are doing is an animal. And we are unclean in the eyesight of God. So you do, if, if you don't repent, you will be destroyed. Because God said anyone that defiles the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So you repent from masturbation. And the demons, uh, you tell God, you read these Bible verses that they defy our temple. They defy your temple. When demons have sex with you in the dream, they defy your temple. When you have sex in the dream, they, you are, they are defi that spirit having sex with you is defiling your temple. When you feel sexually aroused, they are defiling your temple. So God will judge them. They will be destroyed. They are already going to be destroyed. So that's what we need to use that Bible verses as well against this spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. What know ye not that... You, you, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own. 
for you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. When you have sex in the dream, you have another spirit. And that spirit is a demon of masturbation, demon of sexual immorality, demon of sexual impurity. It's a person. It's a spirit. So that's the, instead of your body being the temple of the Holy Spirit, your body is now a temple of demons. Because demon, that demons, once you're having sex, you're opening the door for demons. And that, those demons is coming into your life. You are making confidence with them. You are calling them. So those demons, instead of the Holy Ghost being, uh, being in your temple, the, then demons are in your temple. So that's why we need to pray to divorce the demon of masturbation and the, Jesus Christ to cleanse you with your blood, with the cleanse your mind. That's what I'm praying for Jesus Christ, that our Father in heaven to cleanse my mind, my body, my soul and my spirit with the blood of Jesus Christ and the, we divorce the demon of masturbation and cast him out so that we can be, uh, be free to receive the demon, to receive the Holy Spirit of God. So if you don't have the Holy Spirit there, that is the reason why you don't have the Holy Spirit. And most of what God is showing me is a sin. A sin, that's why I don't have the Holy Ghost. And the sin is, there are other sins he have shown me. And the, now it's the, the, the sexual sin, masturbation. Masturbation, sexual feelings in the dream, sexual sins. That is what, that's why I don't, I'm not baptized. So that's what, that's what we need to do. Second, First Corinthians, that's other Bible verses. I will, I will, I will put that one in the, in the description box. I'll put all these Bible verses in the description boxes. So that in the description, I'll put these Bible verses in the description box so that you can get them and read them. That's what you need to do is to go and read all the Bible verses. God is saying that sexual immorality is a sin. If you read First Corinthians chapter three, verse eighteen, it said, "Flee from sexual immorality." Some of that, some other translation that like the uh, New Living Translation it says, "Flee from sexual immorality." Masturbation is a sexual immorality. It's in the Bible. It's sexual immorality. A King James version call it "flee from fornication." Other, other translation says sexual immorality. Masturbation is in the Bible. It's a sexual immorality. It's a, it can be fornication. Here it says fornication. So let's say free from sexual immorality. Every sin that a man do it is without the body. But he that committed fornication sin it against his own body. He, he, anyone that is sexually immoral is sin against his own body. So you are defiling your own body. You are making your body unclean, impure. So when we masturbate. Anyway, brothers and sisters, this is the brother that helped me uh, to pray to about. There is a brother called Evangelist Joshua in Gogo Search. I search him in Gogo. He's a Nigerian brother. He did help me. Uh, he has so many by prayer points, uh, prayer to cancel covenant with spirit spouse, cancel covenant with, with, with spirit spouses, the prayer to divorce the spirit spouses. Because some people that must bet there may be a spirit spouse in your life. That is a covenant. Uh, that uh, you have made, either you or your parents or your ancestors have made this covenant. So, brother Evangelist Joshua did did help me. Help me. Uh, he said that he's um, he's uh, he have a gift of dream interpretation, which I believe. I do believe what he, he that's the only one that interpreted my uh, help me to know my dreams. That's why I now know that having sex in the dream is a sin. I never know before, but I now know. If I now know not, masturbating in the in the dream is a sin. So that's why I pray. I, I pray. I thank you, Evangelist uh, Joshua. I thank Yahweh, Elohim of my father. I thank God for leading me to your, to your channel. It has helped me so much. And there is another brother. Uh, the brother I've quoted yesterday. I couldn't remember his name. His name is Evangel uh, Evangelist Mike. Evangelist Mike. Um, Bamin Loye. The, he, taught, he taught me that the spirit of masturbation is a demon. Demon, the masturbation is a demon. That is a demon of masturbation. That's what you taught me. Yes, we, we all know in part they have spiritual gifts, but I, I don't. I just know that this is the area I go to Evangelist Joshua to teach me. To, when I dream a dream, I have to go and search what my dream is. And if you go in the Google search and type your dream, it's a witch teaching you, a demon teaching you, fallen angel, witches and wizard, people, people, if people that doesn't know that they're not un, they're unbelievers, they don't know the meaning of it. They lie. They lie to you. The only way to interpret your dream is tell Jesus Christ. Ask Jesus Christ. I ask question. I say, Father, uh, what is the meaning of my dream? I don't understand this dream. I just don't know the meaning. I, I ask question. I write my dreams and I ask him and ask him. Most of the time he give me another dream. But I still, most of my dream I don't understand. I don't know the, I don't know the interpretation. But I praise Yahweh Elohim. I praise God for the life of Evangelist Joshua. I do go to his channel. He have a, a website. 
And you, I go there only for the dream. I don't go there. I don't go there for any other thing. I just know that we don't know everything. We know in part. Uh, no prophet here on earth is able to tell you everything. But people have in part. I believe that he interpret dream. This type of evil dream. I believe that he do interpret it. I like his interpretation, and I believe that he, perhaps it's true. I haven't asked our father about him. So you can, what I do when I'm listening to somebody, I ask, ask Jesus Christ everything. I don't know anything. Uh, and just I haven't asked Father about this evangelist Joshua because I have what I what when you, when I believe something, I don't usually ask questions. But that's why we need to ask questions about every single thing before you go and listen to any human being. Uh, because many there are many false prophets de deceiving people, teaching people lies. The only thing in what I have been doing is ask Jesus Christ question. Anything. Ask him about your food, about your clothing, about your dream. If you have a dream, you say, Father, I don't know the meaning. You ask him. He will give you another dream to make it easier, to make you to understand. That's what I do. When I, I, I was asking him different questions before, they said that he, then he started to give me dreams, dreams to help me understand. That's the only one. We need to rely on God. Don't rely on prophet or prophetess or pastors or any other human being. Or ask God a question all the time. But I just gave you these two people because that's the, I, I do go to the website of Evangelist Joshua and he helped me with my dream only. Just do my dream only. I say ask question. I will ask our father question. Anyway, fa thank you, brothers and sisters. I thank you. I, I will leave it here now. Thank Father for bringing you here. Thank you. I pray that you repent, repent, repent from, from masturbation. Revelation chapter 12, verse 8. All the sexual immorality will be cast into the lake of fire that bondage with brimstone and suffer. So repent from all your sexual immorality. Thank you very much for tuning. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks.